For most people, cows are little more than barnyard animals known for saying moo, giving us milk, or becoming a future dinner. But recently, one cow has been gaining some serious notoriety for a different reason, and she might just change the bovine game for good. Just days after Hurricane Harvey tore through the southern United States in August of 2017, flooding city streets and country pastures alike, Tammy Canton, age 43, and her husband were facing a dire situation. With two additional families and eight dogs taking shelter inside their home in Fulshire, Texas, space was tight. Then Tammy's husband spotted something that somehow made things even harder. Apparently, one of the family's pet cows had unexpectedly given birth just after the storm passed. My husband noticed she, the calf, was standing in water not nursing from her mom, Tammy explained, and that wasn't the worst of it. The water was extremely cold, Tammy added, and the pasture was holding quite a bit of water. Worse still, the calf was weak and shivering from the cold rain. What could Tammy and her husband do? Tammy knew the harsh reality of the situation. She and her husband had to do something, and fast, or the calf wouldn't survive. So with a house already stuffed to the brim with people and dogs, the family played hero. Tammy and her husband braved the flooded pasture and retrieved the newborn calf. She was so weak she could hardly stand and she was shivering violently She seemed too far gone for me to help her Tammy said Because the calf which the family eventually named Harvey had not developed an immune system a veterinarian recommended that the family keep her inside while she regained her strength Just like that Tammy set her up in the laundry room For weeks Harvey rested on a dog bed and guzzled hand-fed formula each day she became a little more strong and the Canton family hoped she'd be able to return to the pasture. Thankfully, she made some unexpected and delightful friends while she recovered. On one occasion, the family's pit bull, Seely, started licking Harvey, and she perked up instantly. Tammy recalled, all the dogs seemed to love her right away. What she didn't know was that it was only the beginning of something special. And so began several beautiful friendships that wouldn't be out of place in a children's story. Healed from her ordeal, Harvey quickly began to adopt the behavior of her canine pals, playing with them day and night. The affection was mutual, too. On her Facebook page, Tammy wrote, Seely loves to spend her time playing, cleaning, and protecting baby Harvey. These two have such a special bond. Of course, the Canton family's home wasn't exactly built to accommodate a cow, and as Harvey grew to over 400 pounds, she became a bit of a handful. No longer able to fit in the laundry room, the calf needed a new spot to stay. But the calf had grown accustomed to her indoor life and refused to graze in the pasture with the family's six other cows Whenever Tammy and her husband brought Harvey to the barn to stay with her fellow bovines She'd show up at their back door in no time mooing to come in So they constructed what they called a cow condo out of a shed in their backyard It was Harvey's personal house complete with an expensive space heater and designed as an intermediary between home and barn life Still in just her first night in the condo Harvey abandoned her new home and opted to sleep outside near the main house's back door Afterwards she spent as little time as possible in her personal home instead choosing to play with the family and dogs instead Unfortunately as Harvey grew bigger. She became a danger to her friends her once unsupervised playdate soon required a chaperone Her sheer weight and size could easily hurt the dogs if their roughhousing became too aggressive to protect the dogs and for the sake of practicality Tammy made concerted efforts to convince Harvey to act more well Cow-like she'd bring her out to the barn for short quick visits, but the results were mixed We're slowly introducing her Tammy said it's so hard not to go and just get her out if she wants to learn how to cow She'll need to spend some time with them and so slowly, but surely Harvey learned how to be a cow Still her days indoors weren't over. That's because Harvey learned to open the back door on her own now she could visit the family whenever she grew tired of doing cow stuff still there were rules I don't let her roam free in the house Tammy said just quick visits to come in and say hi to our dogs and Though Harvey was pushed to shed her canine habits for more bovine ones Tammy couldn't help but bring her inside for some pampering every now and then she even fed her the occasional dog treat It fills my heart with joy being able to spend so much sweet time with her Tammy explained She will literally lay her head on my lap and be at peace isn't that just the cutest thing? What an adorable pet. Harvey's practically a 400-pound dog that sometimes also behaves like a cow.